I'm Hyacinth Megapina and for this video, we will discuss three problems in chapter 25 which is about current, resistance, and electromotive force. This is again part of our requirements in electromagnetism for teachers. So the first problem is from the item 25.2 which deals with current. The problem is a silver wire 2.6 millimeters in diameter transfers a charge of 420 coulombs in 8 minutes. Silver contains 5.8 times 10 to the 28 free electrons per cubic meter. Part A, what is the current in the wire? Part B, what is the magnitude of the drift velocity of the electron in the wire? So just like our in our first video, we need to enumerate the given. So we have our diameter, which is equal to 2.6 millimeters. And using this value, we will obtain the area of the wire, which is equal to 5.3 times 10 to the negative 6 meters square. We also have the charge of the wire, which is denoted by the capital Q. And this one is equal to 420 coulomb. We also have our constant, which is the charge of an electron, and this is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulomb. We also have the number of free electrons per cubic meter, which is denoted by small letter n, and this is equal to 5.8 times 10 to the 28 um, per cubic meter, or m to the negative 3. And lastly, we have our time, which is equal to 80 minutes, or when converted, is equal to 4,800 seconds. We are asked to find two things. The first one is the current, and the second one is the drift velocity. In order to find the current, we need to use the equation I is equal to Q over T, wherein I is the current, Q is the charge, and T is the time. In this particular prop, uh, equation, our Q is equal to the big Q, which is 420 coulomb, all over 4,800 seconds. And thus, our current is equal to 8.75 times 10 to the negative 2 ampere. Next is our drift velocity. In order to find the drift velocity, we need to use the equation I is equal to N multiplied by Q, multiplied by V, V sub D, multiplied by A. So N is the number of electrons per cubic meter. Q is, of course, the charge of the electron. V sub D is our drift velocity, and A is our area. Since we are asked to find the drift velocity, we need to manipulate the equation and once we do that, we will get V sub D is equal to I all over N multiplied by Q multiplied by A. So by substituting everything in the equation, we will obtain our drift velocity which is equal to 1.78 times 10 to the negative 6 meter per second. Next problem is from 25.7, which is also about current, but this time we need to use our uh, prior knowledge in calculus. So the problem is the current in a wire varies with time according to the relationship I is equal to 55 ampere minus the quantity 0 0.65 A over S squared multiplied by T squared. Part A, how many columns of charge pass across section of the wire in the time interval between T is equal to 0 and T is equal to 8 seconds? B, what constant current would transport the same charge in the same time interval? So, again, the given is I is equal to 55A minus the quantity 0.65a over s squared multiplied by t squared and of course our t which is equal to 0 seconds and 8 seconds we are asked to find again two things which is the charge and the current so in order to solve for the charge 
we need to use the equation i is equal to dq over dt. This is from the original equation, i is equal to q over d. But since we are dealing with a calculus-based problem, we need to alter the equation. So since we are looking for the charge, we have to manipulate this equation, and thus we will have dq is equal to i multiplied by dt. To get the charge, we need to find the integral of the current multiplied by the derivative of time. So, our upper boundary is 8 seconds and our lower boundary is uh, 0 seconds. So, we just need to substitute uh, the values in the equation. And by performing all the operation, we will have value of the charge which is equal to 330 coulombs. Next is the current. Uh, for this one, we'll use the same equation that we used in the previous part, and that is I is equal to Q over T. So, we already found our charge which is equal to 330 coulomb, coulombs, and we will substitute that in this equation. So, we have 330 coulomb all over uh, 8.0 seconds and thus the result is I or the current is equal to 41 ampere. We are now down to our last problem and this one is from item 25.14 which deals with resistivity and resistance. This particular problem has an average difficulty. So a wire 6.50 meters long with a diameter of 2.05 millimeters has a resistance of 0 0.0290 ohm. What material is the wire most likely made of? So just like all the other problems, we need to list down all of the given. So we have our diameter which is equal to 2.05 millimeters and upon conversion, this will be equal to 0 0.00205 meters. Using this value, we will be able to obtain the area of the wire which will be equal to 3.30 times 10 to the negative 6 meters squared. We also have the length which is equal to 6.50 meters and of course the resistance which is equal to 0 0.0290 ohm. We need to find here the resistivity. Uh, the reason for this is because each material has a unique resistivity and once we get the value of the resistivity, we will be able to point out uh, the material which has that same value and therefore we'll be able to um, identify the material that the wire is made of. So we need to use the equation R is equal to um, the resistivity multiplied by the length all over the area and we need to manipulate this, this equation in order to obtain the resistivity so we have the resistivity is equal to R which is our resistance multiplied by the area all over the length. By substituting the values we will obtain a value of 1.47 times 10 to the negative 8 ohm meter. So this value is actually equal to the resistivity of silver and therefore the wire is made up of silver. So that's it. Thank you for your time and if you have any questions, feel free to send an email at hyacinthmakeupino underscore dlsu.edu.ph. Thank you and stay safe.